I'm going to tell uh, the the story of how uh, Broken Lizard came to make the movie Beer Fest. Uh, so we were uh, we sold Super Troopers to Fox Searchlight, and you know at the time uh, the movie division was still owned by Rupert Murdoch, so there was a connection to Australia for Searchlight Films and Fox Films in general. They basically sent us to Australia to promote uh, the film Super Troopers. Now, what preceded this was we had been on the road in the United States going to all these different cities, showing Super Troopers, getting people revved up. And we, you know, what they would, Searchlight would do is they would throw us a screening and then a big party. We would get absolutely wrecked. And then the next morning we would have press and then they'd move us to another city. We'd have another screening and another big party. We'd get absolutely wrecked. So we got a reputation, I guess, because when we were at the Austra- at the airport at LAX getting ready to fly to Australia, Peter Rice, the president of Fox Searchlight, randomly shows up at the airport. And he goes, I want you to represent us well down there, fellas. And we're like, yeah, sure, of course. And he goes, well, you know your nickname at Searchlight is Drunken Lizard. Uh, and we were like, okay, pal, you're the one throwing us the parties, right? So we fl- we fly down to Australia, uh, and you know we're in these first class seats, and it was you know some of us had never been in first class before, let alone 18 hours to Australia. And Eric Stolhansky brought, um, he brought he brought pop brownies. Um, which were not calibrated properly. And so, and it was a night flight. Uh, and so a couple of people really lost their fucking minds. Like Soder got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and first class was so big, he got lost and he was just standing there and he was standing there. And finally Hefferton, who was awake because he's, shr- he's tripping basically, he gets up and goes, what are you doing? And he goes, and he, he led him back to the seat. <laughs> Lemmy tried uh, on a bet from Heffern, and this is during the daytime, to eat an entire orange in one bite, uh, which he got it in, but it just poured down his shirt. It was just orange. He was just covered in orange juice. And we were obviously drinking like drunken lizards. So we land on the ground in Sydney, which is, to me, a magical place where everybody's cracking jokes all the time. Like my favorite thing about Sydney was uh, we were at the um, Fox, uh, main Fox Australia, and the president of Fox was showing me and Kevin around, and we went into an elevator. Now, this is the Harvey Weinstein story partially, right? Because Harvey Weinstein went back in the day in New York when he was on an elevator. If the assistants saw him on the elevator, they didn't get up, right? They just were like, nope, nobody gets on the elevator with Harvey. Now, this guy is on the elevator with two, you know, whatever, stars, right? Uh, Future stars, maybe. And um, this young guy has to be maybe 21. Door opens, he steps on the elevator. I'm like, yeah. Uh, And they're kind of looking each other over the president of Fox. And and, and this is the president of Fox. I forgot to start that. President of Fox, Australia. He's looking at the young guy. um, uh, And he's, he's basically like, you know, looking him over and the, the intern looks at the guy and he goes, uh, Hey, I, I, uh, I, I, I like your shit. He says that to the president of the, um, of, of Fox search. And, and the president looks at him and he goes, yeah, I picked it up off your sister's floor last night. And they both burst into laughter. And I'm like, what the hell happened there? And so then the, the intern what, gets what, 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 yep, I what get that that accent that was an Australian accent, right? I like your shit. Anyway, so the <laughs> the young guy gets off the elevator, and I'm like, "Who the hell was that?" And he goes, "Hey, I don't know. I think he's a new intent." And I'm like, "Wow, this is such a great country where you just joke around with power. I love it." Um, so then we're like on the road, and we're and we're you know nobody knows who the hell we are in Australia. Nobody. But they keep, so they're like, you have to put on your cop uniforms and we're going to go to all the interviews, right? So we're, I was any better? Yeah, it's getting, it's trending upward. Got it. Yeah. And um, so now we're like, you know, they're taking us to 
everywhere you can imagine, anywhere there, there are people. They took us to a tire store open and we cut a ribbon and they were serving meat pies and we ate those and we're wearing these cop uniforms. Everyone's like, you know, Australia, if you remember, was started as a penal colony. So they're not very friendly to cops. They don't love cops. But here we are dressed like cops. Nobody knows who the fuck we are. We're trying to get them to see the movie. It's playing well, whatever we show. So now they take us to, they're like that, that they take us to a mall and a guy in a tuxedo is waiting on a little stage and he goes, he goes, everybody join around the super troopers from America here. And all these mothers and young children who are there in the mall during the day show up and we're like clapping for us. And we're like, how is anybody going to see this movie? And finally, our, 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 our publicist, uh, Leslie is like, let's go to a beer garden. You guys are absolute drunks. This might be your, these might be our people. So we go into this beer garden and of course we're dressed like cops, right? And they, are, you know, she's like, you got to get up on stage and talk about the movie, right? And the place is packed with drunk Australians. And it's the daytime, and we're like, I don't know. So so we get up on stage, and we're like, they're like, fuck you, Copa, yelling at us. And we're like, quiet, quiet, quiet down. And and Steve, Steve and, and I'm like, yeah, hey, we're uh, the Super Troopers. We made a movie. They're like, no, oh, like yelling at us. And Steve Lemmy grabs the mic. <laughs> And says, Crocodile Dundee fucks koala bears. And the place explodes, right? Like, like, do they really care about Crocodile Dundee? I don't know. But they avoid it. They fucking lose it. And he goes, I want to challenge the top five guys in this room to a chug off. And so five dudes line up and we chug against these guys. And we're doing a classic boat race where you each guy's going to drink two beers. You start at one end, you go all the way to the end. The anchor man drinks two and you come all the way back. You go now, back, a snake. You go back. Right. So now we're fast. I mean, we're like professional chuggers, except for one of us. So the race starts, and we are smoking these massive Australian dudes, smoking until we hit Soder. Okay, Soder's number four. And he's like, glug, 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 glug. And they pass us, right? Now, now they're ahead of us, and Hefferin has to drink too. He goes, boom, boom. We're back ahead of him again, right? But now we have to go back through a soda. And he's like, glug, glug, glug. And they get ahead of us. Then it's me. Then it's still handsy. Then it's lovely. And we just barely lose. And they're like, ah, oh, yo, wah. You know, and they won, right? So then we're like, all right, we'll challenge you to an arm wrestling contest. Because we've been arm wrestling quite a bit back then. And we win. We win four out of five soda again. We win four out of five of those arm wrestling contests, right? And then Lemmy grabs the mic and says... Russell Crowe fucks kangaroos and the place goes, ah! and I mean, literally people are like tossing garbage at us and Leslie's like, we've got to get out of here. And so we fucking go out of back door into the waiting van, which has started and we jump in. Nobody was chasing us, but they were ready to kill us. And we screech off and Heffron looks back and he goes, that would make a pretty good movie. Uh, and and that is the origin story of what we eventually turned into Beer Fest. Mustache Tales. Yeah!